thing is the White House. Beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. And a perfect day, a perfect time to... <laughs> now, I have a friend. Her name is Ellie, and she's from Silver Spring. I think she can help us. Take it away, Ellie. Hi, James. Can you please draw the White House? Okay. All right. Thank you, Ellie, okay? The next thing we'll be drawing is the White House. Why not? Okay? Why not? It's from Washington, D.C. Why not? One more time, we're going to use simple shapes. Now, I'm thinking of a shape that has four equal sides. What's that shape called? A square. We're going to start with a square, okay? Once again, we're going to use something called guidelines. What's it called? Guidelines. We're going to use some guidelines here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a big square right in the middle like so, okay? Draw lightly. Draw lightly, okay? Like that. I'm going to draw another square that's a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Maybe from right here, I'm going to draw a square. You could go all the way to the edge if you want. But I'm going to draw a square, uh, square that goes like that. Okay? Let's draw another one on the other side. Down and around. Okay? Very nice. Okay? Now, I'm thinking of a shape once again. Not four equal sides, but three equal sides. What's this called again? Triangle. triangle. I'm going to draw a triangle. That may be from here. If this is the middle point, I'm going to draw a triangle that goes like this. And out. Okay? Now, this is what I'm going to do. Okay? I'm going to draw a line that goes underneath like this. Okay? And I think I actually drew these squares a little bit too small. So I'm going to draw a line that goes above it like this, okay? Like that. And the other side. Okay? Now the front of the White House has four columns, okay? So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is divide this into four. I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down like so, like this, on this side. And then one on this side as well, okay? All right? That's enough to get started, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a darker pen. You could use your pencil again. You just draw a little bit harder, okay? So first thing I'm going to do, even before we draw the building, there's some bushes in the front of the White House. So I'm going to draw these little curved lines here like this, okay? I'm going to draw these little curved lines like this, okay? I want you to draw this and go all the way across your paper, okay? Like this. Take your time. Lots of time, okay? I'm going to draw another set underneath, okay? You can use little lines, big lines, it's up to you, okay? We're just going to get this part out of the way. One more. One more line. Take your time, my friends, take your time. We can finish this up later. And maybe one more underneath like this, okay? So we don't have to see the bottom, all right? Now let's go ahead and we're actually going to draw this White House here, okay? This is what I'm going to do. Let's draw this triangle in. I'm going to draw a line that goes straight across like so. I'm going to draw another line that goes down like this. Now I want you to draw another triangle right inside this triangle, okay? Draw another one. It goes right inside. And across, okay? Let's go ahead. I'm going to darken up this outline here. And I'm going to go ahead and darken up these tops that I did here. And I'm going to draw the line that goes straight down right to the bushes here. Okay, now, let's go ahead and draw these four columns here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw little, little rectangles. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And then from those four edges, I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down like so. Two, three, and four. So you can see it's coming along. 
our simple white house. Let's just add a few little details on the top here. I'm gonna add a little square here like this. Maybe one on this side too. I'm gonna add a little bit of a detail here. I'm gonna add a little triangle here at the top and here. And then while we're here, why don't we add a little flagpole here? Okay, add a little flagpole here. Maybe put a little wavy American flag here at the top. Like so. Okay. Now, when you're in a building like this and you want to see on the outside, you have to look through a what, my friends? Window. Okay, the White House has a lot of windows. So we're going to draw a few. Okay. So let's draw a window in between each column. We're gonna draw a couple down here. And to go outside, what do we have to walk through? A what? A door. I'm gonna draw a little door on here. Why not? This is your drawing. If you wanna have little guys peeking out through the bushes, it's up to you. It's up to you, okay? Now, on each side here, I'm gonna put four rows of windows here, okay? So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Other side, one, two, three, and four. Let's do the same at the bottom. One, two. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can take your time, okay? I'll give you plenty of time to finish, okay? Three and four. And on the other side, one, two, three, and four. Now, if you want to add some trees, you can. You can add some trees in the background here. Just do little curvy lines that will imply a tree, okay? It's up to you. You can add whatever you want. This is your drawing. Add whatever you want to it. But that is our very simple White House. Give yourselves a hand, everybody. Now, once again, color it any way you want. I think the only requirement is it has to be white, okay? But you can color any way you want. This is my version of it right here. This is my White House here, okay? Green shrubbery. It's missing a fountain, I understand. I'm from Canada, okay? I'll work on it. I will add a fountain later, okay? Do it any way you want, okay? Show me your drawings, my friend. Show me your drawings. Let's see your White House. Let's see them. Whoa, awesome job. Oh, you guys should be architects. Great job. Okay, put your drawing down. Very nice, my friends. Very nice. I've had a great time with all of you, and I can't wait to see you again. Make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash inckids to catch future episodes of Time to Draw. And remember, wherever you go, there is always time to draw. See you next time. Yeah!